Well, here we are. Welcome to the beautiful island of Koh Tao. In this vlog, we are going to hike to John Swan Viewpoint. We're going to go to those famous islands just off the coast of Koh Tao. We're going to go snorkeling. We're going to see some turtles. We're going to eat amazing food. We're going to travel around the island and experience a bit of Koh Tao life. And I think this little vlog, when I watch it back, is going to make me want to come back here. It is paradise. So, let's go and explore Koh Tao. Well, good morning. Uh, we arrived yesterday after what can only be described as a nightmare couple of hours. Um, we went to the hotel reception to try and book a taxi to get to the ferry port. Uh, turned out they'd moved the ferry without telling anybody, or maybe that's our fault for not looking. Um, and then, so the following morning I went to check if it was still moved, turns out it was. Uh, so I tried to book a taxi anyway. Um, She's then tried to check for my hotel, my booking reservation, so she could book a taxi with the booking reservation. However, the booking I'd made didn't exist. So our number one rule at the moment is always get a ticket confirmation. Anyway, uh, the receptionist Kung at Ban Had was the most incredibly helpful. We're eating at the Blue Jay, which is just behind me on Koh Tao Beach. Um, so yeah, we managed to get. We managed to get onto the ferry. Anyway, then we booked a grab taxi. The taxi came with, should have been 40 minutes to spare. However, there was a crash in the middle of Koh Samui and it ended up taking us. Instead of a 40 to 45 minute journey, we were on the taxi for an hour and a half. As, when I say less than five minutes, the ferry should have left five minutes after we arrived. Uh, first of all, he drove down the wrong pier. And I said, I think that's our ferry. So he drove back down, drove up the ferry. I said, should we not get our tickets? He said, no, no, no. Anyway, we got there. I need to go back and get the ticket. So he unloaded Lee's and the bags and then he, the taxi driver was so helpful in the end. He shot me down, we managed to get our tickets and then got on the ferry. And after a few hours of stress and one of the rockiest boat trips ever, we've arrived here. It's stunning. Um, so yeah, I'll show you around in a bit. But we're gonna go have breakfast first. Um, for scrambled eggs with bacon and parmesan this morning and a nice iced Americano. to John Suan viewpoint. We think it's going to take about 45 minutes to walk there. Um, I've got my barefoot walking shoes on from Vigo, which I'm quite happy to be out in at the moment because they're going to keep my ankles covered and there's loads of bosses out. Uh, but we've been told the view is amazing up there, so we're going to head up to the viewpoint and hopefully I'll show you a little bit of what we get to see on the way. This walk is hectic. Uh, there's no pavements again, surprisingly. Uh, so we're back to the side of the road. Mopeds are flying past. Uh, but we did just stop for some questionable meat on a stick. Although my questionable meat was chicken thigh and Liz had pork. Uh, but it's like 10 baht for meat on a stick, which is about 22 to 25 feet, depending on conversion rate. Um, and it's just a proper good little snack. Um, we've still got half an hour's walking to do in this sun. So it's quite a hot old walk, but uh, Liz is powering on. She's uh, dressed sensibly in her toms. <laughs> We've gone mad. We've gone mad. I'll turn you around, you can see where we walk. Well, we've just got to sort of the base bit of John Swan viewpoint. John Swan, whoever he may be. Um, 50 baht to get into this little area. There's a beach though and there's some bars you can use. Uh, we've got about another 150 meters to walk in that direction to get to the viewpoint. I think we've just made it in time. The sun's about to start coming down and hopefully this will be the best 50 baht we've spent. Was it a toilet? Uh, no, it's further down, so I'll no. hold it. She's going to hold it so we can go up to this viewpoint. God, I, I mean, I right am. It's warm. This has been one of the warmest walks I think I've done.
just leaving John Swan. John Swan, are we saying Swan? John Swan, Swan viewpoint. Uh, it's just up there. It's quite a difficult climb to get to. And I say difficult, I am saturated. Um, there's ropes trying to get you all the way up there. As you can see, it's quite a long drop down. And there's mud. Oh, just trying to attack me. Uh, but I'm not talked up there too much because it's quite peaceful. But it's so worth going up there. Even if you don't like rocks and cracks. Madam over there. Jerking around like a, a mountain goat. Me, on the other hand, sat still holding on to all the road possible. A mountain goat. The gazelles on the flat. A mountain goat's on rocks. She's arguing with me now over animals. Hang on, I'll film her going down. Here we go, mountain goat. I've been eating alive on the way back down. I'm not sure what. I've been moving. Um, it's hard going up there. It's a good old walk in this heat as well. Um, everybody's doing little flip flops or sliders or Birkenstock, and I think they're very brave. It's rocky, there's ropes to help pull you up. And you'll see the video of Liz going down so you can see how steep and rocky it is. Uh, so there's a, many a brave person doing little flip flop, if you ask me. Uh, 50 baths to go up there. Views are amazing. If you can time it so you get sunrise or sunset, the sun was just going down as we left, but it goes dark so quickly and uh, the climb up wasn't the easiest. So we wanted to make sure we got down in the light. But if you're in Kotal, John Swan viewpoint, go and check it out. It's just stunning. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying this video, please do press the like button down below. Press the follow button and also please do share. It'll help me loads. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next part of the video. Uh, today we're off on a snorkeling trip of the island. Uh, we stop on Nuang Nuang, which is that really... Um, well, I'll show you photos of it. It's the iconic photo of Kotal you'll see. And then we go around, we do like five snorkeling stops, finishing on Shark Bay down the bottom, which is uh, the view we had yesterday from a uh, Jean Swan viewpoint. Uh, so today, my kind of day. Lee's got to rock climb yesterday, and today I'm getting to go snorkeling. Uh, apparently, Kotal is amazing for diving and snorkeling. I can't dive because I'm here. But I can snorkel, so I'm going to go as deep as I can. And it uh, doesn't look like I'm going to have to wear life jackets here. Fingers crossed. As in Mexico, we have to wear life jackets to snorkel, which meant I couldn't go below 30 centimetres. Uh, but yeah, we've got a full day. We were meant to be picked up at 9.30. <laughs> it was 20 past 10 by the time we got picked up, but I guess that's tight time. Um, we're going to head out to the boat. We get lunch included. Uh, to stop at Duang Duan, which we have to pay 250 baht to go into and explore, but then we get four or five stalls and stops, all for 500 baht, and to get some lunch. struggling to say but we're gonna go with it we're strong and wrong the water just can't get over how clear it is so we can go to the viewpoint either side and then we can go for a swim we've got two hours on this island but I think we figured out why this whole trip was 500 baht because the world needs dongles on that boat it don't really matter how did the sharks here today as well So we're on another hike to the top of this viewpoint. Um, today, probably not the best attire for this. I've got my trunks on and flip flops. Uh, and it's hot. Uh, but we can go snorkeling straight away afterwards. But apparently the views up here are amazing. Uh, so we're gonna head up there uh, along these rickety paths. Very safe, no fear at all.
it. We're about to leave the beautiful island of Koh Tao. We've had three amazing days here. We've hiked to viewpoints. We have gone snorkeling around the island. I've seen turtles. We've eaten amazing food. We've had fun times on the beach. We've caught some sun, as you can probably see. We're actually starting to look like we're on holiday in Southeast Asia now. Um, Koh Tao is an amazing island, uh, and I think you should come and visit as well.